century, Niagara Falls has been a magnet for travelers to North America. They gaze on, awestruck, as nearly 3,000 tons of water plunges over 150 feet every second, causing the earth to tremble beneath them. But for one child in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, a mere picture of this wonder of nature was enough to set his mind racing. He ran to his uncle with a crazy idea. What if you could harness the fall's power? This child was the budding inventor and engineer, Nikola Tesla. And nearly 30 years later, he would see his dream become a reality. At one minute past midnight on November 16th, 1896, a switch is thrown that brings the world's first hydroelectric power station to life. In the coming months and years, power from the falls reaches New York City. Broadway is ablaze with lights, while the subway rumbles underground, carrying commuters to their destinations. Tesla himself is heralded as one of the leading inventors in America and seems destined to go down in history as an architect of the modern world. But soon after, his life would take a dramatically different course. His investors would abandon him. He would become consumed by obsessive compulsive disorder. And this man amongst men would live out his final days with only pigeons for company. So how did a young man from the Austrian Empire become the inventor who helped create the modern world? And why did someone to whom we still owe so much today end his life destitute and alone? Nikola Tesla was the archetypal mad genius, full of incredible ideas. He rose from obscurity. He had the world at his feet, but then he had the most precipitous and tragic decline. His brain was wired up differently. He was an oddity, but at the same time, he was a deeply, deeply humanitarian person. He died impoverished and alone. It almost seems as if there was a conspiracy of big business working against him. You're listening to Forbidden History, the podcast series that explores the past's darkest corners, sheds light on the lives of intriguing individuals, and uncovers the truth buried deep in history's most controversial legacies. I'm Janine Hironi, and this is the triumph and tragedy of Nikola Tesla. The world of the mid-19th century is very different to today. It is a world without electricity. It's forged through the blood and sweat of man. The poor get up and go to bed with the sun, while the rich fight the dark with fire, candles, and gas. The fastest way to travel is the coal-guzzling steam train, and communication is through voice, art, and books. Slowly but surely, however, the world is undergoing a revolution. Men with surnames like Faraday, Volta, Ohm, and Edison are heralding the dawn of the electricity age. And in a small village in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, in the midst of a thunderstorm, a child is born who will join their ranks as one of the greatest inventors in history, Nikola Tesla. Tony McMahon is an author and historian. We asked him about the young Tesla's childhood. Nikola Tesla was born in what was then the Austrian Empire, a huge, sprawling empire across Europe, in what is now Croatia, although he himself and his family most likely identified as Serbs. Nikola Tesla's mother ran the home when he was a child, and she's credited with having invented a mechanical egg beater and a state-of-the-art loom, and that was despite the fact she'd never seen machines like this. Tesla is fascinated by her inventions, and as he grows up, 
he soon discovers that he is unlike the other children in his village. Historian and author, Alan Butler. He was almost certainly autistic. His brain was wired up differently than most of our brains are. He had an incredible memory. I mean, totally photographic. Could remember an entire book, no problem. Rarely slept at all. Uh, was obsessive, compulsive uh, in all manner of ways. He also displays signs of what we might today diagnose as synesthesia, where the divisions between a person's senses become blurred. Even slight mental stimulation would see visions of scenes and objects invade Tesla's mind without warning. In some people, this can feel like a harmless quirk. In others, it can feel isolating. But in Tesla, it enables him to think outside the box in an incredibly visual way. Tony McMahon. He could barely distinguish between reality and his own imagination, but maybe that was a gift because he was able to harness those visions to almost have an idea of what the future, a future that didn't yet exist, would look like. And then by harnessing those visions, he could put them down on paper and begin inventing stuff. His vivid imagination, combined with his photographic memory, were the perfect cocktail that one day would lead him to be one of the world's greatest inventors. And so, inspired by his mother and the visions of the future he sees in his mind, this is the moment where Tesla decides he wants to become an engineer. But it will not be a straightforward path because his father will oppose him. The future of much of our modern world is therefore about to pivot on Tesla's ability to change his mind. Tesla's father, Milutin, is renowned in his village for his incredible memory, his mathematical prowess, and his ability to speak 12 languages. In many ways, he and his son are very similar. But Milutin is also a devout Eastern Orthodox priest who expects Tesla to give up his engineering ambitions and follow in his footsteps. Tesla tries to change his father's mind with little success, but when he's 17, he contracts cholera. It's a traumatic time for him and his family. He's confined to bed for nine months and close to death on at least two occasions. But Tesla is able to use his illness to his advantage. Tony McMahon. He said to his father, if I recover from cholera, promise me that I can go to engineering school. His father agreed, he recovered, and amazingly, his father kept that promise. Now free to pursue his ambitions. When he's 19, he wins a scholarship to study engineering in Austria. One aspect of his course soon begins to intrigue him, electricity. At this point in history, Electricity is only just beginning to move from the laboratory to the outside world. But thousands of miles away, a dazzling display in a small village in the United States is about to catapult it into the mainstream, creating an entire new industry that Tesla will one day play a key role in shaping. For the inhabitants of the remote town of Menlo Park, New Jersey, the New Year's Eve of 1879 would be one they would never forget. Train after train pulls up at the tiny station platform, decanting hundreds of men and women dressed in elegant evening wear. They've been persuaded to eschew the glitzy celebrations in nearby New York City and travel to this small village by the promise that tonight they will see the future. They huddle together in the cold, counting down the minutes. And as the clock strikes midnight, it happens.